All right, this is my XRT. Um, just did a color change from all orange to going back to green. Kept my orange arms at the bottom. Still rocking a castle setup. It's a castle 17, uh, 1260 KV, and a castle Mamba Monster 8X, 8S. Some good little rocket fans. Um, still running the um, castle BEC, uh, 8 volts to my uh, servo. It's a Savox Monster servo. Um, still running real good. Servo's solid. What's failed is my all my components here, my um, bell cranks. I don't recommend the um, M2C bell crank to anyone. I've gone through two of them. They just don't last. They just don't work. So right now I'm just doing stock bell cranks and replacing them as I go. Uh, and I'll probably get, move up to the Vitavon bell crank here pretty soon. Um, I did do the mod where you uh, put two of these um, plates on your upper top bulkhead. There's a plate there and plate here. You do have to shave quite a bit with the Dremel to get to mount. And the tr real trick is mounting these two screws inside with that plate in the way. There's a, there's a, you gotta finagle it, finesse it. Uh, it's a 26 pinion and a 50 spur steel and M2C wide the uh, wide axles and I just installed the M2C chassis brace beefcake mm, these are already stripped up front the ones up front are already stripped but uh, everything else is still going in good holding it down so Turn this bitch on. I just went back to my Pro Line Masters. I was running the um, Arma backflips. Still my favorite tire. But uh, I just wanted to see something different, so I put the Masters back on. masters are so wide um, so any little touch of the steering wheel really turns the car so much traction with the tires it, it makes this steering delicate very fast reaction time hero Pretty good to me. So, um, so with the beefcake chassis brace, it adds more weight. So you're gonna slap your chassis harder on landings if you don't change your shock fluid and right height so I currently I put in 70 weight and I don't think it was enough I maxed out the right height front and rear it's pretty good good you want thick diff uh, Thick shock fluid to slow the action in the springs. So I got 70 in there to help hard landings. Still slapping, but not so hard.
this is a standard servo. Steering is really good. You gotta run the standard servo horn, of course, and get the holder. But the improvement in steering is it's really uh, evident. Now my X-Max just had problems with the 2085X servo. Even though it's steel, it'll still strip. And the steel it did strip. And I changed the two new gears inside the servo and it stripped again after a while. Um, so in my X Max, I currently got a cheap Amazon steel gear steel geared servo in it. And if you, it's a, it was like forty dollars. If you search Amazon for X Max servo, it's the first one that comes up. Forty bucks, forty five kg. wanted to try it out and it, it's working running on six volts in the x-max working just great so it was either that or do another hundred and fifty dollar purchase for a, a name brand well-known servo I'm trying out the cheap stuff We're going strong. That uh, M2C beefcake is doing its job. My front body's coming up. I broke those two little things. I ordered a new one, new holder. Old M2C. They're putting in the engineering time and selling good stuff. Hell yeah. Just the other day, I broke my uh, spider gears inside of my rear differential, and uh, that was a hassle. All the stores didn't have them in stock here in Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, so I had to order them. The store did have a whole new diff, though, so I got the whole new diff. It's $50 for a new diff versus $10 just for the spider gears was all I needed. Those will break if you're running too too much torque. It's the the rear diff case. And the little squares that hold your spider gears in will strip the case. And the little squares won't hold in place anymore. Then you break, put the shafts and everything. So
I ordered a set of those Jetco green wheels off eBay. Belted. We're gonna try those out. I had a juice.